This is my review on a small coffee maker and you may wonder well why am I even doing a review on a coffee maker and it's kind of a good question I guess but you know we like the K-cup style of coffee makers when we RV because they're so much more convenient they don't take up as much space and a lot of times with just the two of us you know we don't have to make a full pot of coffee. Now in the last four years that we've been camping we've actually gone through two of the curry coffee makers and they just quit working. Now it remains to be seen of course with this one whether or not it's going to last that long. We're bouncing around out in the bad roads and things and generally the coffee makers probably aren't made to be bounced around anyway. But the thing that brought us to this one, and this is called a Chulux single serve maker, is that this is a very small size so it's really very handy to have something like that in the RV. And you know, we can store this just about anywhere. I mean, that is very small in size. And here's a nice size mug and it just fits perfectly. Uh, one thing is this will handle up to 12 ounce cups. And the Keurig that we had, we had one that was a version one that would only do about eight or 10 ounces. And the version two that did 12 ounces, well, you know about version two, you won't only accept certain K cups. And so, you know, we just got kind of tired of all that mess. Plus the last one we had, you know, you had to lift the top up, let one light blink, and then you had to pour it in, and then you had to lift the, the front up until another light blinked, you know, and, and <laughs> it's just kind of silly. Where this one here is just on and off. What's easier than that? And the fact is that it's so small, we can store this virtually anywhere, and not so with the larger ones. And of course, you know, you typically lose a little bit of water when you use these type things due to evaporation. So even if you start out at 12 ounces, you're maybe down to 10. But basically you unlock it. And <laughs> I kind of feel like Ron Paul Peel here. And just nice big reservoir you can pour the water in. And there is a little filter in here, a little wire mesh filter. Then you press that down and lock it. And then you just turn the uh, switch on. Okay, and the light turns from blinking to solid once it starts. And power is off when it's done. And we're at 3 minutes and 12 seconds from push to button until the button turns off. And we didn't really lose a whole lot of water to evaporation. Now it remains to be seen how long this will last, but you know, this is less than $40, but I'm going to have a cup of coffee.